Welcome to Brixis TV. This movie is about creating page setups and layouts. Each drawing can have multiple layouts with multiple viewports in each layout. The print settings are controlled by a page setup, while viewports define the portion of the model space to be printed. The layer visibility and scaling can be different for each viewport. All tools to create a new paper space layout sit on the Layout toolbar. Click the new Layout tool button and type a name in the command bar. A newly created layout contains a single viewport showing all model space geometry. Let's say I want this layout to be printed on an A1 paper size portrait orientation. Click the Page Setup tool button. Click the New button. An A0 landscape page setup already exists. We will use this page setup as a template for the new one. Type A1 portrait in the name field. Select the A0 landscape page setup in the list and click the Create button. We can leave all settings unchanged except for the paper size, which must be set to A1 and Drawing Orientation Portrait. Click the OK button to create the page setup. We will now assign the newly created page setup to our new layout. Click the Based On field of My Layout and select A1 Portrait in the list. The page setup is now applied to the layout. Now we can add viewports to the layout. Let's delete the default viewport and make the viewports layer current. Click the Paper Space Viewports tool button to launch the MView command. Specify the two opposite corners of the rectangular viewport. Double-click inside the viewport. The thickened borders indicate the viewport is active. Zoom in on the ground floor plan. Double-click outside the viewport to go back to paper space. Then select the viewport. Click the standard scale field and select 150 in the scale list. The viewport scale is adjusted right away. Drag the viewport handles to resize the viewport. Let's switch off some layers in this viewport. Double click inside the viewport, then click the Layers tool button on the standard toolbar. In the VP Freeze column, we can select the layers we do not want to display in the current viewport. Let's select the dimensions, text, and walls first floor layers. I have added a second viewport showing the first floor plan. To preserve the viewport display from being modified accidentally, select both viewports and set the display locked property to Yes. The geometry in the viewports can be aligned using entity snap tracking. I select the second viewport and choose Move in the quad menu. Click the reference point in the second viewport then click the corresponding reference point in the other viewport. When the vertical tracking line displays, I hit the Shift key to lock it. The tracking line turns red and I can now position the second floor plan aligned with the first floor plan. 
Thank you so much for watching and enjoy working with BricsCAD. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself. Thank <laughs> you.